Hi, my name is John Stanko, and this is my colleague, Jim Dittmar. And we're here to talk to you about a book that we wrote uh, together called A Leadership Carol, A Classic Tale for Modern Leaders. And uh, Jim, we're here with some uh, Christmas decorations. Is there any significance uh, to those decorations for this book? Well, I think it puts us in the spirit of talking about this book, which was uh, a lot of fun to write, by the way. But we came uh, across the idea, came upon the idea, I should say, to, to uh, what about adapting uh, Dickens' Christmas Carol story to a modern day kind of uh, circumstance. Yeah. And once that idea kind of stuck, we said, oh man, we, we could have some fun with this and yet tell a very good story. Yeah, I can still remember the uh, whiteboard where we were uh, sketching out the story and uh, but wanted to modernize it. So uh, the, the book itself focuses on a character named Ben Holliday yes. who is running his family's company into the ground, won't listen to anybody, uh, is a modern day Scrooge and then suddenly he has uh, some encounters he is not expecting, is that correct? True, and true, and, 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 and even before that, he's put in a position where, you know, he's, be, he's being uh, confronted with how badly he's doing it by a consultant mm -hmm. that was hired to come in. But shortly after that time, and he gets rid of the consultant, he says, get out of here, we don't need you, I don't need you. He's visited by three consultants. Uh, the consultant of leadership past, the consultant of leadership present, and the consultant of leadership in the future. So it, uh, that's kind of how the story plays out yeah. around those visits. And within that uh, story, we introduce an acronym for leadership uh, that uh, is not necessarily imaginative, but we felt very accurate. It's the acronym LEADERS, L-E-A-D-E-R-S. And we've written another book about that, which we'll talk about in a separate video. Right. But, uh, but, but Ben Holliday is confronted with this grid that the consultants are evaluating his leadership. Yes. Again, the acronym LEADERS. And uh, very quickly, the LEADERS stands for? It's L is leadership, then E is ethics, A is alignment, D is decision making, uh, e, the second E is for engagement, and then uh, the R is resilience, and finally S is for stewardship. And it was really kind of interesting again how we developed that because we wanted to try to find a way to integrate as much as, or at least the core concepts, the essential concepts that we felt we had really learned about ourselves through the experience we had in a graduate program in which we were both engaged for a number of years, a graduate program in organizational leadership, the MSOL program. And we, you know, it was like, boy, we've we learned so much. Mm -hmm. We've just got to find a way to put that in writing and pass that information along. Yeah. And, uh, and we want to pass it along to uh, all of our friends. Now, LEADERS is not the only acronym because we, we felt that those seven concepts needed a little spicing up, needed a little seasoning. So we came up with another acronym called, uh, that you can uh, pronounce SIC, S-I-C, which stands for? Well, the first one is SERVICE, which again, kind of, uh, reflects our commitment to servant leadership, which again is part of that, that L concept. Uh, I is inclusion. Who do you, we want to create inclusive uh, workplaces, don't we? Where employees feel they can now all be part of it. Yes. Now mm -hmm. more than ever. That's an important word today. And so inclusion is important. And finally C, communication. Uh, no one says, uh, I've never heard anybody say, well, you know, we don't have enough communication mm -hmm. in this company. It's always the opposite. And so, yes, our feeling was uh, 
we called them the spices, the vitamins, the things that if you have these in place, SIC, then it just enhances your ability to become an L-E-A-D-E-R-S leader. Yeah, yeah. So, so the book itself uh, contains uh, uh, the story. It uh, contains the actual consultant's report in which we introduce the leader's concepts and the uh, sick uh, influences. Uh, and then we have an interview uh, at the end where we kind of explain what it is that uh, uh, we were trying to do and accomplish. So the book is available on Amazon uh, in paper and Kindle format. We invite you to enjoy and learn from A Leadership Carol, a classic tale for modern leaders. John Stanko, Jim Dittmar, signing off.